controversy tonight over spending at Atlanta's airport. Hartsfield Jackson Airport recently spent $4 million to install bathrooms. It doesn't sound too bad until you learn that those bathrooms aren't for people, they're for dogs. The airport installed seven dog bathrooms at a cost of $4 million. Fox House Morris Diggs heard the complaints about the spending. He went to investigate, and Morris, you heard an interesting excuse for the spending. Well, yeah, we were there when city council members got the price tag. And I can tell you, eyes rolled. And once citizens see our story, those council members are expecting to get the phone calls and the emails. There's one question above all others. Why do the doggy rooms cost so much? How often have you heard the phrase first class airport? Well, that applies to the animals, too. As city leaders discovered when they learned about a certain amenity for canines that carries a hefty price tag. They're a nice big room with all the appropriate amenities. You know, almost four million for the service dogs is it, it it's very pricey. I just, you know, trying to get the answers because we're gonna get the questions. To build the animal bathrooms, the airport spent three point nine million dollars in the seven relief centers, as they're called. Each has a video instruction monitor to enhance the travel experience for you and your dog. It's, it's more than just a bathroom. Exactly. The restrooms outfitted, for example, to accommodate a wheelchair traveler who can give his or her pet access to relieve themselves and then get a little relief before continuing the trip. The owner is responsible for making sure these bathrooms stay clean and the city has provided everything, including the spray, to complete the job. An assistant general manager explained the city is legally required to provide the spaces. Still, why more than one half million dollars per bathroom? Thomas Nosaki says any construction inside Hartsfield Jackson is complex and expensive. When you're doing construction in a concourse, because this is an active environment, we typically limit the construction hours from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. So all the work is done at night in a very tight time frame. Additionally, um, you, we're going to be building, like in this case, building over existing facilities. So underneath this floor, there's probably a baggage system. There could be offices. There are utilities that have to be avoided. At the end of the day, all these costs just really add up. While administrators put up airport funds initially to pay for these seven, they're attempting to have all travelers foot the bill. That is by tapping into that $4.50 passenger charge that's part of any airline ticket. They've got to get approval to foot that bill, pass it along to the travelers. Reporting live from Hartsfield, Jackson, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.